World quests are a feature in Legion to get more players out into the world. Once you hit level 110, when you open your map, world quests appear as circles on your map. There are a handful of different types of world quests with varying rewards. They have different timers that range from 1 hour to 1 week. When the timers expire, the quests disappear and new ones get added to the world. Most world quests appear on the map as brown circles with an exclamation point. When you go to their area, they act the same as bonus objectives from Warlords of Draenor. You either fill up an objective bar by killing enemies and clicking objects, or kill a certain number of each type of enemy in that area. There are a couple of world quests called Work Orders, where you exchange one crafting material for another at an NPC, similar to what you do in your garrison. If the brown circle on the map has two cross swords, it's a PvP world quest. These are pretty similar to the standard world quest, but you must be flagged for PvP combat to kill the enemies, and there are more elites running around. The rewards for standard and PvP world quests are pretty much the same. It's either gold, 20 to 40 artifact power, profession materials, class order resources, or gear that's around 810 item level. There are also pet battle world quests that have a little paw in the circle and they reward pet stones. World quests that are blue are meant for multiple people. Blue with an exclamation point means that it's recommended that there are 2 to 3 players. If there is a dragon border it means that it's recommended for 3 to 5 players. These rewards are better than the solo world quests. If it is a blue circle with a skull, it's a dungeon quest. These can reward artifact relics and gear. And if the circle is purple, then it's recommended that there are 5 to 10 players in the group. Every day you can earn a chest by completing 4 world quests in that day's chosen zone. You are able to hold 2 of these at a time, so you can miss a day and catch up on the next. I'm not sure what rewards you can get from the chest because they're not working right now. After doing a handful of world quests, I really started to miss flying more than I ever did in Warlords of Draenor. Some quests are pretty far from flight points, and once they are finished, you have a long way to run, take a flight point, and then run some more to the next one. The new Pathfinder achievement will help out a lot with all the traveling, and Blizzard has said that the achievement won't take too much time to complete. World quests seem to be taking the place of daily quests in Legion, and when you look at them that way, they're a huge improvement. It's a little weird doing some of the same stuff that I did while leveling, but there's way more variety than daily quests used to offer. And because the whole world scales with your level, this is a good way for them to make all of the zones useful for level 110s. I had fun exploring the new areas and grouping with people to take down the harder enemies. I'm just worried that all of the traveling and farming will make them feel like a grind. I wanted to try and make a video about something different. Let me know what you think of the format and of world quests, and thank you for watching.